Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will start the topic MOSFET as species. Now, we have seen in the last lecture that we have dealt only with the uh, input signals that are continuously available. Okay, and applied to the circuit where the output signal is continuously observed which is called as continuous time circuit and such amplifiers finds wide application in audio video and high speed analog system and in many situations we may sense the input only at periodic instant of time the circuit then processes each sample producing a valid output at the end of each period and such circuits are called discrete time or sample data system. So let's see MOSFET as switches. This is a simple sampling circuit which is consisting of a switch and a capacitor and a MOS transistor which serves as a switch because it can be on while carrying a zero current. So this is a simple sampling circuit. Okay, simple capacitor is here where we can implement a switch by a MOS device. Okay, this is a MOS device M1. And a clock signal is applied at the gate term. Okay, now to understand how this circuit works and samples the input, let us first consider the simple cases depicted here in figure A, where the gate command CK goes high at t equals to T1. We have assumed that V in is equal to 0 and the capacitor has an initial voltage equal to VDD. At time t equals to T0, this M1 senses the gate source voltage this gate source voltage is equals to vdd and a drain voltage which is equals to which is also equals to vdd okay so drain voltage is equals to vdd where this vgs vgs is also equals to vdd because ck is uh, this gate voltage is vdd and this uh, source voltage is zero okay so therefore this transistor operate m1 operates in the saturation which draws the current of ID1 is equals to mu one cox by 2 W by F VDD minus VTH whole square. This is whole square. And from this capacitor, it draws a current from this capacitor. And as this V out, this V out as shown in the figure, as it falls at some point equals to V out equals to VDD minus VTH, it drives this M1 into the triode ring. It drives this M1 into the triode ring. You can see. This drive into M1 into triode region. Okay, and the device nevertheless continues to discharge this capacitor until V out approaches zero. Okay, we note that for V out lesser than 2 VDD minus VTH, the transistor can be viewed as a resistor. And having a resistance of 2 uh, R on is equals to, we can write R on is equals to. 1 upon mu n cox w by l vdd minus vth okay now we consider and the, these are the characteristics that how the transistor operate in triode and how it operates in the situation okay now let us see another case where this v in is equal to positive 1 volt you can see here v in is applied as plus 1 volt and v out is at t equals to t naught is 0 volt okay now VDD is 3 volt again. Here the terminal of M1, which is connected to this capacitor, acts as the source terminal. Now this terminal, in particular, this terminal acts as the source terminal. In previous case, this terminal acts as source. Now in this case, where M1 is connected to this capacitor, is acting as a source terminal. Why it is acting as a source terminal? Because it is at low voltage, low potential than the drain terminal. And in case of N1 and MOS. Source terminal is always at lower potential than this drain terminal. Okay, now this M1 connected to capacitor acts as a source and the transistor turns on with VGS is equal to 3 volt and VDS is 1 volt. Thus, M1 operate in the triode region. So you know the condition for these that for triode VDS should be lesser than VGS minus VTS and this condition is fulfilled. Now, this charge. CH that is capacitor until V out approaches positive 1 volt. Okay, and for V out equals to 1 volt, M1 exhibit 
and arm resistance of RR is equals to 1 upon mu and cog W by L DDD minus D minus DTH. Okay, so this is the case, another case. Okay, now what it reveals out, it reveals the, the above cases, the above observation reveals two important points. That first, a MOS switch can conduct current in either direction simply by exchanging the role of source and drain terminal. And secondly, as shown in this figure, you can see when the switch is on, V out is when the switch is on, that is, the clock is high. This V out follows V in. You can see V out follows V in. Okay, and when the switch is off, this is low or on, V out remains constant. Or the circuit tracks the signal when the clock is high and increases the instantaneous value, the instantaneous value, this value, increases the instantaneous value of V in across CH as this when CK is goes low. So this is the track and hold capability of a sampling circuit. Track and hold capability of a sampling circuit. Okay, so this is a simple cases and simple observation from these cases about the MOS switch. In the next lecture, we will try to drive out the V out as a function of time for this MOSFET switch. Thank you.